it's really obvious to me what this is testing. These are long answer choices. The wording is changing in lots of ways. This is almost certainly a modifier's question. We have some sort of uh, intro clause. It's kind of weird because it's got this parentheses in the middle, but remember, that's just a distraction. Get rid of it, right? It's just there to, to throw us off, to make us lose the rhythm of the sentence so we can read without it. And then we have a comma, and the thing following that comma needs to be whatever we're talking about. So we're gonna turn this uh, this modifier, the thing at the beginning, into a question, and the answer to that question should start off our answer choice. So, a nearly frictionless state. What is a nearly frictionless state? When they're Sophia? Nope, nope, I don't know. This is not a thing. Two surfaces, the surfaces are a nearly frictionless state? I don't think so. Reaching superlubricity? Well, reaching isn't a state, it's a, it's an, it's a verb. We want this to be a noun. What is the nearly frictionless state? Super lubricity. That seems right. Super lubricity is reached when two surfaces COF drops below 0.01. So it's definitely deep. I would not be any in any doubt here. I have no idea what super lubricity is. I guess it kind of says it, right? Uh, it's when the friction between two surfaces is low as possible level. They define it. But um, I don't really care. It's much more structural than that. But this is a great example of why it's so important to predict the rule before you start solving the question. A lot of you are going to read this paragraph and get totally lost in all this crazy science. None of it matters. This is a grammar question. And so we need to think about what the structure of this sentence is. As soon as I look at these answer choices, I know it's about modifiers. I know how to think about that. And so now I have a very clear task. And all these distracting science words don't distract me. They just kind of inform me what I'm looking for in the answer choice. If you don't know what I'm talking about, search my channel homepage for modifiers, okay? You will see a lesson on this and it is one of the best grammar lessons you can watch because this rule is very predictable and, and, and it's very long and, and tedious if you don't know the rule, but it's very quick and obvious if you do.